And I want to talk about Gregor Mendel for just a minute. This guy was a monk back in the 1800s. And apparently what he did is he took the pollen from a purple flower, big P is equal to purple, and he used a paintbrush thing to fertilize the stigmas of female flowers, maybe in a, in a courtyard around the corner. And the little P represents white. And so notice this, all of the, the seeds that resulted from this fertilization, when the plants were planted, look what happened. The flowers were all what? Purple. purple. The father was homozygous dominant for purple. The mother was homozygous recessive for white. But all of the babies were what? Purple. They were all purple, right? All of them, four out of four. Now, the thing that can be noticed, though, is these are heterozygous. And some people would call these a hybrid. Uh, some people would call this a mutt. The parents were both homozygous. That means they have two of the same alleles for the trait that they're offering here. In this case, purple. In this case, white. Now, in science, some weird things kind of happened. So what he did is he took these seeds and bred these seeds together, the purple ones, and look what kind of result we get here. We get, in this first instance, what do we, what's the possibility, class? Purple. It's purple. What about uh, this one right here? Purple. Big P, little P is still purple. What about this one? Purple. Big P, little P, and then the last one. White. Little P, little P. So now here is one of the interesting things. The grandmother was a white flower. Her children, there were no white flowers. But look, skipping generations, once again, that white flower appears. So out of these four possibilities, how many of them came out to be purple? 75% or three out of four. And there were only one, there was only one that was white. This, by the way, is called the phenotype. If we look at this, however, that's not the actual relationship we see. We actually see one of these big P, big P's. How many of these transition ones, these hybrids do we see? We see two of those, and how many of the white ones? One. Okay, this is called the genotype. Mendel kept discovering this characteristic three-to-one relationship. Now listen real close, because I, I, this is something that has just come to me this morning. When you look at these offspring of this first generation, the F1 generation as compared to the P generation, genetically, these babies are an exact blend of the parents, aren't they? Big P and little P. Now, when you look at the outward appearance of them, they're not an exact blend because they look just like the dad, nothing like the mom. Okay, but watch what happens next. When we go through this second cycle of breeding and go to the F2 generation, We've got something that looks like the dad, something that looks like the mom, and once again, there is another genetic possibility that is a blend. And so what Mendel determined is that there are more possibilities for the babies than just an exact blend. In other words, if you have a black stallion and you made it with a white mare, you don't always get gray. Sometimes you might get a black filly, a white one. You might get dappled. So Mendel basically discovered that there are more possibilities than just an exact blend, and that is his particulate theory. That's what made him unique in the father of modern genetics.